OK, so thanks for those who can make it today for another one of these brief uh, team sessions. Today I wanted to talk about to talk about and export figures from some of our resources. Um, I was primarily thought this would be useful for faculty if they're trying to trying to figures or images from from our electronic resources into slides for their lecture PowerPoints, but students might find this useful too. So too, so I just everybody and. and as these, um, I'm going to record this and it'll be up on the research guide if you if you're not able to be here today, but today but want to watch it. Um, and I usually just make sure everybody knows where to find these things I'm going to be talking about. So if you go to the Lucom library page and scroll down to databases today, I just want mostly going to be showing access medicine, which is here and clinical key. And I'm going to sh and I'm going to show the LWW health library, but the, the same vendor Walters Kluwer actually makes the health library and the clerkship collection but so those work the same way but i'll be showing you that and also how we can get figures and illustrations from team of ed one education patient then um, images from visible body for, for to be exported into a powerpoint slide so um this won't take, won't take very long but it's just so you're aware it works a little bit a little bit differently with these resources each vendor has a different process um, for for using this um so in access medicine uh, a lot of our required textbooks are here and just for example if we look at harrison's internal medicine um you'll notice you'll notice that i'm not signed in to my access profile if you've had one of those in the past you don't need to sign in to access medicine uh, um, to get uh, figures so if i were to say go to headache i can find that's a tape table these are all tables. OK, well, you'll see there's a link. This is a table um, and I can uh, view the table there. I care I can listen to, but I can also just download download. I'm looking for something that has a good image or a figure that we can use because you can actually. Download a. PowerPoint slide. Here we go. So this is components of a typical cutaneous cutaneous. Uh, we can view full size of this and I can download the PowerPoint slide and it'll actually download that figure as a, as a slide. And if I open it with PowerPoint, you can then, co then copy it whatever your lecture presentation is. Um, the main reason that I would think you might you might want to do this instead of just copying and pasting it is down here at the bottom. This will automatically make attribution, which is not like a huge deal for lectures and PowerPoints because all of our all of our materials are behind a single sign on, so nobody should be accessing this besides our students and faculty and staff. But it's always a good habit to make it to make it possible, and this does it for you yeah. automatically um, along with the image. So that's uh, that's access medicine. Key, which again, the link is right here on the Lucon library page. It's a little bit different. They want you to actually sign in to access uh, um, to export images or figures as a PowerPoint slide. And there's a couple more steps that you have to do using clinical key. So if I go to the book, books of clinical key, um, a book that we see a lot is textbook of family medicine. Um, let's say um, let's say disease. If I can find some images or figures here that we can use. Okay, so here's a figure. Uh, um, team one, it's got a diagram here, but you'll notice I'm not able to. Um, if I click on it, um, it'll it, it, it give you the of it, and you can save this to your favorites. You can email this, or you can print it. But you see this little uh, triangle with kind of like a kind of like a monitor add to presentation. So that doesn't actually add it to your PowerPoint, but if you click on this, it'll ask you. Well, it's, it's not asking sign in. You have to be signed in, signed in to um, to use this feature. You can create an account for Clinical Key. It's free. You can use whatever email and password you want to use. But what you do is you'll create presentations and add um, and view to the presentation. If I can go to this or to this over here, I missed it. So you, so you can see I'm in here. You can see my name and I can go to my presentations and I'll find I've done done this with a couple other faculty too. But those figures that I've exported to my presentation have added it to this presentation file in clinical key. And, and then if I export. The, those that's what makes the PowerPoint slide, which again drops it into a slide for you automatically makes attribution. Attribution has the source it came from. 
Um, so you don't have to worry about making attribution if you're exporting from clinical key. key. The LWW Health Library is where a lot of the required textbooks are. If I can, I can. So a lot of the, the anatomy books and our OMM, our osteopathic medicine textbooks, are available on this resource. So if I were to, I wonder if I can get to our osteopathic resource. Here's our Atlas of Osteopathic. Of osteopathic. Um, trying to find a figure. Figure. I'll have a figure here. And again, notice I didn't have to sign into this. It already it says Liberty University, but I'm not signed into the resource, which you does other things with if you do create a login. But to download figures, you can just download the PowerPoint slide, automatically creates it, creates it a slide with the attribution uh, even the date that you downloaded it and copyright Walters Clore. So again, it's not it's not like a huge deal to make attribution uh, just in a PowerPoint slide, but it's a good habit to be in. And this kind of makes it easy for you. <laughs> Another resource I wanted to show you that you could show you that you could do is Tima, uh, and Tima is the Med One Education Platform. Gilroy's Atlas of Anatomy uh, is it a required textbook that's in this in this section, but there's a bunch of atlases of anatomy, color atlas of human anatomy. Neuroscience for Dentistry. Um, if I can go into a resource here. And again, this one is a little fewer steps than maybe like Clinical Key. Clinical Key kind of makes you use their platform a little more heavily. This just, uh, I open up a, an image and there's actually buttons up here. Um, you can um, you can you don't have to create a playlist you can sign into this resource if you create a login and create playlist but if i just want to use this figure in my powerpoint i can just click i can just click a button it downloads it automatically makes attribution and the date of export so you can see this really makes it very very easy to attribution in your powerpoint slides the last resource i wanted to show that if you wanted to use to get a figure or an illustra illustration from visible body um, if you if you have trouble testing this, let me know because we actually used Walters Kluwer had purchased Visible Body several years ago, and we used to purchase it from them. Um, but they've actually a new vendor has bought it from Walters Kluwer. We still have access to it. I've updated all the links, I think. Um, but please, but please, let's trouble accessing it. But it is a JavaScript application, so when you once you sign into it, you'll launch the Visible Body uh, uh, JavaScript application. And let's say I find the skull here. I can, where is it, I do this. This is actually a little bit, um, I wanna share. There it is, this is hide, my, my Teams thing was hiding it, hiding it. It's not automatically obvious, but if you wanna, wanna, if you wanna take this image and put it into a PowerPoint slide, you actually have to share it. And you'll download the image and it saves to my downloads. And then I actually have to go into my PowerPoint and and image um if i can find the where do i add image in here so there it is there's my image and the one the reason i wanted to show this is because this is the one resource that even though even though it gives opportunity to share the image and or download the image and edit and enter it into your PowerPoint. Notice it doesn't make attribution. I mean, it tells you, it kind of gives you the image. Um, it doesn't even have text here. So this is one that if you did want to use something from Visible Body, it's not going to automatically do it for you. But it's still, you can still, you could maybe just put something like taken from Visible Body accessed on this date and maybe the link to it. So that's all. That's all I really want to add. I know this is kind of geared more towards towards uh, and creating uh, lecture slides for your PowerPoints. But if you have any questions questions about any resources, please let me know. Or if you have tr trouble doing any of these things, I'm happy to come to your office and we can figure it out together. So, thank, thank you, you guys for your time. I hope you guys have a good rest of the afternoon. Yeah.